electrolysis too. Electrolysis. We're going to use a battery to get useful work from chemical reactions. So we're going to make that non-spontaneous reaction happen. Remember we said this is what electrolysis is. We're putting a current to produce a chemical change and we're, we've got a negative chemical potential. We also have a positive delta G. And to calculate things that we're going to calculate. We're going to calculate the mass of the metal. We might plate a metal or produce a metal. Next thing, the volume of the gas. Sometimes there's a gas produced in these reactions. And finally, another thing we might calculate is the time it takes for this reaction to occur. So for example, we looked at the electrolysis of, of molten cells. We looked at, we could look at the amount of chlorine that's produced as chlorine is bubbled, or the amount of sodium that is plated on the cathode. This is an example of two of the things we could calculate. So let's get started. Also, what's going to be handy in this is looking at a reduction table. It's also nice to look at the number of electrons that's going to, that are going to be lost. That is going to be an important number in these calculations. Different substances lose or gain different number of moles of electrons. For example, if we were to plate sodium, we know that would be one mole of electrons. So here is electrolysis of a water solution. And in, in this, they've put other ions but the ions are not reacting. So water is producing. Notice that there's hydrogen and oxygen being formed at a two to one ratio. So let's do, look at the sequence of how these problems are solved. For example, if you're given grams of silver or mass of any substance, this is a sequence. You would change that to moles. So then you would go to moles, which is right here. And then you would go to moles of electron. For silver, one mole of silver would produce one mole of electrons. If you had Aluminum. Aluminum, one mole of aluminum, three moles of electrons, and that's going to be an important conversion. And then we're going to go to something called a coulomb. This coulomb is a unit of charge. There's 96,500 coulombs per one mole of electron. And then we're going to look at amps. Coulombs is equal to amps times seconds. And so we're going to use all those in this conversion. A couple things to remember. One mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. Write that down. Next one. Coulomb is equal to amps times seconds. Or we could say an amp is equal to coulombs divided by seconds. Or we could say seconds is equal to coulombs divided by amps. We're going to use all those. So stoichiometry of electrolysis. A couple of things. Current time and time is a quantity of charge. We're going to say coulombs of charge is going to be to amps, which an amp is a coulomb per second times seconds, and that's going to give us coulombs. And the quantity of charge is going to be, we're also going to look at the mole of moles of electrons, molar moles of electrons. And mole of electrons is equal to coulomb of charge. So always remember these are equal. One mole of electrons will, will be happy with 96,500 uh, coulombs, or we could say with five, six, six, five significant figures. 96,485 coulombs and one mole of electrons. But we're just going to memorize 96,500 because that's a little bit easier. So we're going to do two example problems. Listen closely. If you understand these, these problems are going to be a lot of fun. Now, one thing that I like about chemistry is I love to factor label. It's awesome. So you're going to get a great chance here to do some factor labeling. You're going to factor label the crap out of these things. And then at the end, you're going to get the right answer. So you're going to be so excited. So let's go. Here's our first problem. A mole of a metal is electro uh, electrolyzed. It took 52.8 seconds for a current of 2 amps to plate. Ooh, wow, that's not very much. 0 0.0719 grams of the metal from a solution containing that metal nitrate. Now, a couple important things here. First, we have the time that it took. Next, we have the number of amps. And finally, we have the mass in grams. Now, one other thing important thing I hope you notice from this remember I said we always want to look at the number of moles of electrons per that metal notice this metal is going to have what charge on it hopefully you're going to realize that metal would have a charge of positive three so let's get started with this problem here's the way this would work I'm just going to show you the whole thing and we're going to go through it uh, one thing at a time so if we want to identify metal what we really need is molar mass molar mass is grams per mole we already have the number of grams right here so we know the grams is 0.0719 grams. What we need is a number of moles of that metal. So here's how we're going to get it. 
we're going to multiply the seconds times the amps because we know that is equal to a coulomb. So that's the first step. step. A second times the amps would it be equal to coulombs. So we've got this. When you've got these two things together, this is basically equal to a coulomb. And then we know a coulomb is 96,500 coulombs in one mole of electron. So basically the coulombs is going to cancel with amps times seconds because amps times second is a coulomb. Now we have moles of electrons. Now we want to go from moles of electrons to moles of the metal. We, we looked at this charge, and this is what told us for one mole of the metal, we get three moles of electrons. So this is where this part comes in right here. So we're going to say we have three moles of electrons for one mole of the metal. The moles of electrons cancel out. Now I have moles of M, M standing for metal. Hopefully you know the next step. I just need to take the mo the mass of the metal, which I have, is, which is 0 0.0719 grams, divided by the moles of the metal. And so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to find the metal. And from this, I found the molar mass of the metal. See if you can figure out what the miss metal is. Where would you look? Where would you look? Hopefully you would look at the periodic table. What metal has that molar mass? Is it silver? Is it platinum? Is it aluminum? No, it's gold. Hopefully you identified the metal correctly as gold. And hopefully you weren't one of those people that forgot the symbol for gold either. All right, let's keep going. We're going to do only one more sample problem. If you're really enjoying this, you may want to repeat this and just watch it over because there's only two sample problems. Sorry. That's all we have. All right. Sample problem two. Um, this is this is exciting the way I've covered up the problem. You'll find this out in a second. So here's a question. How long will it take for 4.5 kilograms of aluminum to plate out from an aqueous aluminum solution with a current of 108.9 amps? So we've got some important numbers, 4.5 kilograms. We've got the fact that it's aluminum tells us there's one mole of electron, uh, three moles of electrons for one mole of aluminum, or as some people say, aluminium. Then finally, we have the number of amps. Throw this in real quickly. What we want to do is get to the time. And we know amps coulombs equals amps times seconds. So that's where we're going to get the time from. So first, we want to get to moles. So what we're going to do is take kilograms of aluminum and change it to grams. Bam! Next we want to take grams of aluminum and change it to moles. And guess where I look? The periodic table. So I do that. So grams cancels out. Bam! Gone! Now I want to take moles of aluminum and change it to moles of, guess what? Moles of electrons. One mole of uh, one mole of aluminum has three moles of electrons. So bam, there it is. I like how that disappears. All right. So now what are we going to do next? We have another thing that tells us something about a mole of electrons. We just talked about this. Do you remember? Hopefully you do. Our next factor label. See so if you can guess what this is going to look like. We have something electrons on the bottom, something on the top. Hopefully this is what you selected. We're going to say one mole of electrons is equal to 96,500 coulombs. This is super. Look what's happened. Moles of aluminum has canceled. Bam. Bam. Out of here. Bye-bye. And moles of electrons. Now, it may not look like that's electron, but that, that's a negative sign right there. So we have moles of electrons have canceled as well. So now we've got coulombs. Now we need to get coulombs to seconds. So remember... A second equals a coulomb divided by the amp. So we want to put the amps on the bottom. And so we want to put the 108.9 amps. And a coulomb is an amp per second. And so that's going to cancel out. So we have that. And then we want to know, change how long will it take. We want to change, oh, that's such a long time. Let's change it to hours. So we'll say there's 36,000 or 3,600 seconds in one hour. And then we'll get our total time. Our total time is 120 hours. Bad news. Um, this is the end. This is it. No more. Bye.
ายๆ